Hello, first grade scholars. I am so happy that you guys could join me today. My name is Ms. Caldwell, and I will be your virtual reading teacher for today. Get ready, we'll be going over lesson 43. First, let's start off with our daily routines. We'll go over the high frequency words and then we'll read our decodable. Our first high frequency word for today is soon, S-O-O-N. This word is soon. Read with me, soon. Read the word with me again, soon. When you see this word, you will say soon. Take turns reading this word with your partner. If you don't have a partner, it's okay. I'll be your partner today. What's the word? Great job. Give your partner a thumbs up if you and your partner both read the word soon correctly. Our next word is every, E-V-E-R-Y. This word is every. Read with me, every. Read the word with me again, every. When you see this word, you will say every. Take turns reading this word with your partner. All right, partner, it's my turn. Every, now it's your turn. What's the word? Excellent job. Give your partner a pat on the back if you and your partner both read the word every correctly. The next word for today is anymore. A-N-Y-M-O-R-E. This word is anymore. Read with me, anymore. Read the word with me again, anymore. When you see this word, you will say, anymore. Take turns reading this word with your partner. Okay, partner, it's your turn. What's the word? Great job. Give your partner bubble claps if you and your partner both read the word anymore correctly. Our next high frequency word is under, U-N-D-E-R. This word is under. Read with me, under. Read the word with me again, under. When you see this word, you will say under. Take turns reading this word with your partner. All right, partner, it's my turn. Under, now it's your turn. What is it? Good job. Give your partner a round of applause if you and your partner both read the word under correctly. Our next word is really, R-E-A-L-L-Y. This word is really. Read with me, really. Read the word with me again, really. When you see this word, you will say really. Take turns reading this word with your partner. All right, partner, it's your turn. What's the word? Great job. Give your partner a fist bump if you and your partner both read the word really correctly. Our next word is three, T-H-R-E-E. -E. This word is three. Read with me, three. Read the word with me again, three. When you see this word, you will say three. Take turns reading this word with your partner. All right, partner, it's my turn again. Three, now what's the word? Excellent job. Tell your partner to kiss their brain if you and your partner both read the word three correctly. Next, we have the word little, L-I-T-T-L-E. -T -T -E. This word is little. Read with me, little. Read the word with me again, little. When you see this word, you will say little. Take turns reading this word with your partner. All right, partner, it's your turn. What's the word? Excellent job. Give your partner a backwards high five if you and your partner both read the word little correctly. 
Our last word for today is one, O-N-E. This word is one. Read with me, one. Read the word with me again, one. When you see this word, you will say one. Take turns reading this word with your partner. All right, partner, it's my turn. One. Now, what's the word? Good job. Tell your partner they did a fantastic job today reading high frequency words. Help me sing our first transition song. Ready? Let's sing. It's time to go to work. It's time to go to work. It's time to practice what we learned. It's time to go to work. Great job. Now it's time for us to read. Make sure you have your decodable, a little seed in hand, and follow along with your pointer finger. We'll be reading together. All right, let's get ready to read. A little seed. See the little seed under the tree? It is a windy day. The wind sweeps the tiny seed to the town. It lands on a roof. The wind is angry today. The seed speeds into the air. It lands in a park. The little seed will go deeper in the grass. It needs plenty of sun and rain. They are like food to the little seed. It is a sunny day. The afternoon sun will warm the seed. The next day is rainy. Every raindrop will help the little seed grow. The next day is cool and misty. The tiny seed is now a shoot. It has roots. The seed grows. Soon it has a stem and only one leaf. Soon it has three green leaves. See the pretty flower? It is not a weed. The bees buzz around it. The little seed is not really a seed anymore. Now it's time for us to be on the lookout for high frequency words in our decodable. Let's get ready. First, let's practice together using this page of our decodable. Help me read the page. See the little seed under the tree? It is a windy day. Did you see or hear any high frequency words on this page? You're right. We saw two words on this page the word little and the word under. So when you notice a high frequency word in your decodable, like the word little or under, make sure you underline it like this. And don't forget to share it out loud with a buddy. All right, now it's your turn to look for more high frequency words in your decodable. Don't forget to underline it when you find it and share it with a buddy. I'll see you afterwards. First grade, give yourself a high five for doing such an amazing job at reading. Don't forget, we'll be using this decodable all week, so make sure that you put it in a safe place. Now it's time for today's lesson. As we sing our transition song, get your high frequency word cards ready so we can go fishing. Gather round together, together, together. Gather round together, together, let's go. Stand up in a circle to think about what we've learned. Let's make some great connections with letters and sounds. Great job. Now let's read our learning targets. I can read high frequency words soon under, little, every, really, one, anymore, three. I can read words that don't play fair. 
Now it's time for us to go fishing. But before we do, let's be reminded of how we play the game. First, let's read the words, starting from the top and then going down. Repeat after me. Soon. Every. Anymore. Under. Really. Three. Little. One. Excellent job, first grade. Remember, when you're ready to catch one of your high-frequency words, place your hand on top of the card. Turn the card over to see which word you have, and then say the word aloud. After you've done that, use the word in a complete sentence, and then you can release your word back into your high-frequency word pond. Remember to repeat these steps with all of your cards until you have caught each and every word. All right, if you're ready to go fishing, say, oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, first grade, let's go fishing, and I will see you afterwards. Now let's read our learning targets. I can read words with vowel team patterns OO, O, O, and E, E, E. I can read two syllable words ending with Y, making the long E sound. Today, I will be reading a sentence to you that has two words with double vowel teams and two words with the letter Y at the end, making the long E sound. Here is the sentence. The three lions at the zoo were very scary. Remember, we're looking for words that have double O, 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 double E, 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 or the letter Y at the end. Let's look at the last word of our sentence, the word scary. Do you notice a vowel team or the letter Y at the end of this word? You guessed it, we noticed the letter Y. So let's stretch this word out just to make sure that we hear the long E sound at the end of the word scary. Remember, SC makes one sound, sk, and AR, R being so bossy, is controlled by R. Let's stretch the word out. Sk, air, E, scary. Did you notice the E sound at the end of that word? That's right, we did. So this is definitely one of the words that we were looking for. Now, there's three other words in this sentence that I want you to find. Remember, one of them has double O, 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 one has double E, 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 and the last one has a letter Y at the end, making the long E sound. All right, if you're ready to get to work, Say, oh yeah. Okay, get to work and I will see you on the next slide. Let's check our work. Here is the first word. Three with E-E. -E. Zoo with O-O. -O. And very with the letter Y at the end, making the long E sound. Did you get these words first grade? I know you did. Give yourself a pat on the back. Now it's time for us to get into our activity. Let's get ready. For today's activity, you will need your distance learning packet along with the writing utensil. Today we'll be finding words with E, E, O, O, and the Y ending. Our lesson, lesson 43, can be found in our distance learning packet. Here are the directions. Read the two sentences below. Find and circle words that have the spelling patterns E, E, O, O, and the Y ending. Write the words under the correct column. Now, let's read the sentences. Number one. It is too dark to see the moon anymore. Now, number two. I zoom over to study the presence under the tree. Let's go back to the first sentence and look at the word to. Do we notice a vowel team in this word like EE -E or OO -O, or do we notice the Y at the end? That's right. We notice a vowel team, OO. -O. 
So which column would I put it in? Would I put it in the first column labeled EE, the second column or the middle column labeled OO, or would I put it in the last column labeled Y ending? Right, again, I will put it in the middle column labeled OO. Now, it's your turn. Go back and read the sentences and make sure you're looking for words that have vowel teams with EE or OO. Also, look out for words that have Y endings that have the long E sound. All right, if you're ready to go, give me two thumbs up. All right, first grade, get to work and I will see you later. You know what time it is. It's reflection time. I have a question for you. What did you do today that is helping you become a more proficient reader? As always, think about it for a second and then share your answer with a buddy. First grade scholars, you did amazing today. Kiss your brain. Thank you for learning with me today and I look forward to teaching you again soon. A couple of reminders before I let you go. Remember, watch the alphabet chant video. Read the decodable reader for the week. Practice your high frequency words. Read 20 minutes and complete a reading log entry. And practice handwriting with letters A to Z, lowercase and uppercase, high frequency words, CVCE and CVC words, as well as short and simple sentences. Until next time, first grade, adios.